Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Monero Craft, our Minecraft modded survival series and we are in our new home. Now, I managed to move everything over using the dolly, all our chests are over here, they're full of crap. Um, it was really, really helpful. That is such an amazing item to transfer things around. I also made another bed because I felt like ours was a little bit uh, lonely sitting there by itself. Now the plan today is to get our forgery made, but in order to do that we're going to need to collect sand and clay. We already have a shit ton of gravel somewhere. It should be in here. Uh, we have over a stack of gravel, but we don't have much sand and we're going to have a little bit of clay. Um, and what we're using those for is we need to make grout. And grout um, is what you then cook and it turns it into, I believe, seared bricks. And then seared bricks you use to make uh, all the parts you need for the smeltery for Tinker's Construct so we can start making cool tools and we can also start doubling our ore. So, before we get going though, we're gonna need to craft a few things. We do have 12 iron. Uh, what I want to make is definitely we need a new shovel uh, because we're gonna be going out and collecting sand and gravel. We're gonna need a new shovel. We have two iron ingots there and we're also going to need a uh, new sword. Ours is about to break and something I almost completely forgot about is we need a bucket because in order to provide heat for the smeltery we need lava uh, so let's grab this cobblestone really quickly though and um, I don't oh shit I didn't mean to put that in there uh, I don't think I have many sticks though uh, I only have three sticks, which is just enough to make a new sword and a new shovel. Now, where is my coal? Do I have any in here? Uh, doesn't look like it. So, uh, we need... We'll probably just need uh, how, well, one coal, probably, maybe? No, we'll probably need two. Yeah, we'll need two coal. Okay, so let's put this in to cook. Um, we'll just cook it all. That's fine. We'll make a sword while it's cooking. Uh, and then we have just enough to make a shovel once another piece has cooked, which is right now. And then we need three more pieces to make a uh, bucket, I believe it's only three pieces. Um, so we'll wait for that to cook. And while that's cooking, I'll just show you that I finished off the roof. I went and got some more cobblestone, as you just saw, um, and I finished off the rim around the roof. Now, what I also did was I put staircase going up. So now you can just run up, and here we are. We're up on the roof now, and look at that. Isn't that a fabulous view? And we can run up and down nice and easy. Uh, I think it turned out pretty good. I need to get some more sticks, though, because I want to finish the frame off so it looks like it's being held up by something. It's not just floating. Now, you might also notice this weird kind of area over here with uh, the dirt blocks and I also cleared out this entire area, got rid of all the dirt and got rid of all the uh, grass and stuff around. Now this is where the forgery is going to be and the reason I've placed dirt blocks down as a placer is because I had an idea in my head how I was going to build it and I didn't want to forget. So this will be the actual forgery. Uh, it should be that size, I'm pretty sure is how big we have to make it and this will be like the frame of the building around it. Um, so yeah, I kind of just laid it out so I knew what I was doing once we get it up and running. Uh, now, we should have enough iron cooked up. Hopefully, it is all cooked up enough. Uh, there we go. That is fantastic. Now, a bucket is just like that, isn't it? There we go. We got a bucket. Uh, we might make two so we can get two buckets of lava. Now, now, uh, what we need to do is we need to go... Actually, no, we'll take that out, sort that. Uh, no, I was keeping everything in here, like our smelting materials and all of that. So finding clay and sand won't be that difficult. I got the clay and sand that uh, are in here from right out the front of the Thomcraft Tower. It'll be finding the lava that might be a little bit tricky, but we do have uh, the minimap that we're using actually shows pockets of lava and stuff underground. It converts to an underground minimap once you go underground. So, we should be able to find some if we go down into the mine shaft again, I think. Uh, so we're going to make our way back over here. We are going to collect sand and clay and all of those great things from near the water and near the village, and then we can jump down into the mine shaft and try and find some lava as well. Uh, it should be pretty easy. And look, the chunks haven't loaded. We can see underground stuff down there. What is going on? Come on, chunks. Hurry up and load. Hurry up and load. Let's actually just collect some of this sand over here as well. Um, we might, may as well grab it since it is right there for us. Just jump across. Uh, I'm thinking we probably need like maybe a stack of each. Uh, I think the most, the thing you need the most is probably gravel 
and sand. Uh, you don't need as much clay, so we'll just grab that. I'm just going to grab the top layer because I, I don't want to fight around in the water there. Uh, we've already got 18. It's fine and dandy. We'll grab this top layer here. Nice and easy. There we go. Wonderful. Um, I don't know if this shovel will last, though. Because I ran out of wood, so I've run out of sticks. I should have just chopped down a tree and made some more sticks. Uh, but we can always do that. We can just grab, like, some stone when we're down and make ourselves a uh, quick crafting table. I mean, we can grab some wood and make ourselves a quick crafting table. You know what? We might may as well do that right now. Uh, hopefully this tree capitates. It's a bit weird, isn't it? This random oak tree is just floating in the middle of a little lake here. And there we go. Pop that down, and we can make ourselves some sticks, make ourselves a crafting table. So if we... Where did that last piece go? Oh, there we go. Over here. So if this uh, shovel breaks, we can just make a stone shovel, which is why I brought over a bunch of the... Oh, no, I didn't. I forgot the cobblestone. I put it back. Uh, never mind. Never mind all that. That horse has an awesome hat on its ass. Oh, you, you're lucky I like you, horse, or you would be dead. Uh, are we going to do it? Are we going to do it, guys? Let's do it. <laughs> Oh, it's that noise that they make when you kill them. Yeah, it's not a nice noise. We need to eat some food here. Uh, eat some of that. Probably should have brought some more food. And uh, let's check our hats menu. What have we got? Uh, the tree hat, the wither boss hat. Um, what one did we just get? We just got that. Oh, God, that is weird. GB, we got some... Oh, I forgot about that one. A literal cat in a hat. We're, we're wearing that. We are wearing that. Oh, fantastic. Okay, now let's get back on track to what we were doing. We've almost got a stack of sand. Uh, that is nice and easy. Now, there should be some clay around here. Uh, what's that? Hey, it's Monero, my best friend. Brent the Guard. Okay, apparently me and Brent the Guard are best buddies now. I don't know when that happened, but apparently it happened. So, over here is where I found clay. There we go. Here's some right here. Clay, come to me, come to me, clay, clay. Uh, oh, there's heaps here. We'll have a stack in no time. I just hope I don't drown while I'm down here. The good thing is, I'm pretty sure the clay, yeah, just floats up to the surface. Uh, so let's get back up, and we can just grab it right from the surface. Oh, that's great, that's great. There we go. Cool. Uh, we'll keep collecting this, and that's sand, so we may as well just dig up some of the sand as well. And then lots of clay, and then we'll head down into the mine shaft. Once, uh, I think once we've got a stack, or just over a stack, we can head down into the mine shaft to probably be the right thing to do. Can we get a little bit more before we drown? No, nope, we're going to have to go to the top. And it is going to be night time soon, so we're going to have to be pretty careful out here. It could get dangerous. Why is there just this random block there? That looks really suspicious. It looks suspect. Oh, and there's even gravel there if we needed more gravel as well, which is good. Okay, get some more clay. Okay, let's get some more clay. Uh, there's more there. Let's see how much we've got. We'll go back to the surface and see what we're working with. Uh, wow, way over a stack. Okay, uh, I think we have enough clay. We'll get some more sand while we're down here. May as well, and it is night time now, so I'm hoping creepy crawlies don't come out too fast and attack me. They shouldn't spawn too close, should they? Uh, the mine shaft's probably going to be infested with them, though. They could be dangerous down there. But yeah, we like to live life on the edge, don't we? Uh, in this series, we're, we're living life on the edge. We're like pioneers out in the Great West or something, or the Wild West. Wild, Wild West. God, that was uh, an awful film. You know, let's be honest, it's pretty darn terrible. And we may as well grab this lot of sand around here. And that might be enough. I'm hoping that's enough that we don't have to come back and collect some more. Uh, a stack of each or over a stack of each should be fine. We have, yeah, we have well over a stack of each. So, now let's go down into the mine shaft and our staircase should be here. Here we go. And hopefully we can see a little pocket of lava on our mini-map and we can collect some of that. Uh, I really want to do something with this essence berry. I believe you can plant them. I believe they give you XP, these berries. So, let's use it and see if that's true. Oh, look at that. They do give you XP. We should definitely uh, collect that or something. Okay, now we went this way originally. Um, and you can also go that way. So we'll continue going this way. We'll collect a few resources along the way as well. Shit, there's a skeleton with pants on down there. And we're going right for him. Give me those lappies pants. Oh, he didn't drop them. Damn it. Okay, our mini-map. I can see lava pocket. I can see a big lava pocket somewhere. We need to get back underground here for a second. Uh, it's over that away a little bit. So, should we dig down to it? No, I think the mine shaft does go around that way, so we should we run around? And here another skeleton archer. She's trying to get to me, I think. 
Uh, I can hear him. I can hear him. Oh, copper. Uh, we'll collect some more minerals and stuff, ores and stuff while we're down here as well. May as well. Uh, we got some silver, which is good, which is good. And I believe this is amber stone again. Whoa! Holy shit! Okay, so, um, we found lava, guys. We found lava. Now, can I just pick this up, hopefully? I don't know why it's not pouring in. Uh, okay, we need to get up there. We need to get up to that lava. Oh, and I see iron as well. Well, that was easy. That didn't take as long as I thought it might. And we've run into, like, a little cavern system or something. Oh, no, not much of a cavern system. But it has lots of goodies for us now. Uh, we should be able to collect some of this lava, hopefully. Come on. I need to get to the source block, don't I? Uh, which I might have to dig up this way to get to. There we go. There we go. Basalt, out of my way, you basalt. Um... Is it not going to let me pick that up? Nope. Okay, so there we go. We got one bucket of lava. I don't think I can get any more, because that was the source block. I can hear zombies banging on a door somewhere, which is interesting. Wait for that to go away, and we'll collect this copper while we're here. There we go. And we'll collect that iron as well, since we did just cook up a whole bunch of our iron. Oh, no, it's disappearing. Okay, it's disappearing. Never mind. Thought maybe I was going to get some more. Oh, lead ore. Le oh, shit, that's really dark now. That, that scared me a little bit. There we go. We got some lead ore. And lead ore you, was rare in Tekkit. Lead ore was really rare. And we seem to be finding it. Oh, more of this appetite stuff. I don't know what it does. Uh, there's more down here too we'll get. Appetite, come to me. You've got it. Oh. Oh, we must be above the next level of the uh, mine shaft. Ore. M lots of ore. It's always the best. There we go. We got that piece there. Any more? Nope, that looks like it's it. Uh, more up here though. Never mind, I was incorrect. There's more. But wait, there is more ore. Get some of that. Uh, get some of this. Appetite. We need some more coal as well, because I've been using a fair bit of it. So we'll definitely grab some of that. And we need to find another pocket of lava. I can see, it's like my minimap is hot. Oh shit, fell in a hole. My minimap is like half underground, half showing the surface at the moment, if you look at that. It's a little bit weird. Uh, there is some lava around the corner or something, I think. I can see light. So we'll make our way to that once we get this coal. Come on, Cole. Come to me. There we go. Cool. We get this stuff. Get that iron. Fantastic. More iron. Please don't be lava up there. Uh, more iron. Good. Ah, oh, that way we can double that. That'll be nice. And there's stuff down here. God dang it. I've done... Oh, the mine shaft's right there. Cool. Uh, I've dug all these damn holes everywhere, and I keep falling down them now. What is this? Chimerite. I think we got some of this before, didn't we? It's like disco stone. Look at it. It's all multicolored and everything. Uh, I've actually upgraded, uh, I've not upgraded, updated a few of the mods as well. Uh, Ars Magica got updated, Witchery got updated, uh, something else got updated. Uh, you know, we're like, what, five episodes in or six episodes in? Five. Oh shit, what is that? Oh, it's a mana elemental. We, we, ah, oh, I don't want to tango with this guy. Ah, I don't hit him very hard either. Ah, shit, we're going to like just trade shots here. My sword broke. Okay, these guys are tough. One more hit. There we go. Do they drop anything cool? Just experience. Okay, let's get more of this appetite. Now, hopefully we should... Oh, shit, there's another one. Come on. And I think I just let him through. Come on, pal. Come on. Ha! 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 <laughs> take him down! They don't take any fucking damage. All right, we found an underground uh, ravine or a cavern system, which could lead to lava. Uh, but let's go back here and collect some of this stuff, too. We have some silver ore. Another mining expedition. It's always fun. I enjoy mining. Uh, especially when you have this many mods installed. And there's just ore out the wazoo, basically. There's just ore everywhere. It's always good. Uh, was there anything back here? Yes, there was lots back here. Okay, grab some of this. Grab some of that. Oh, lots of iron. This is going to be fantastic. We should have heaps of iron. Um, which will be good to cook up. And that way, eventually, well soon hopefully... Uh, we can start building some machines. Uh, I'm thinking I'll start with Thermal Expansion, since I know Thermal Expansion. It's probably the only tech mod in here I know that well, that and Galactica Craft. Oh, and Buildcraft. Um, but I think that's probably a good place to start to get some, like, early power up and running. It'll be nice. There we go. Woo! Alrighty, and what is this? More tin ore. Okay, we'll grab that. The stuff that makes me think it's bloody diamonds and gets me all excited. No creepers be sneaking up on me. Okay. Oh, I hear a zombie. I do hear a zombie. Yep. Uh, sound like he was taking damage, though. So that's interesting. What is this? Uh, oh, 
more of the quartz for applied energistics, which could be really handy. So we'll grab that. Beautiful. Oh, god dang it. I turn around and look, there's more ore. More ore for us to collect. Okay, let's just have a little snack. And I've spotted some more iron ore already. It's just up here. There we go. Okay. Getting completely distracted. But after we... Ah, oh, shit. There's tin ore right... Look, what is this madness? There's just ore behind ore. This is crazy. Okay, we'll grab this last lot here. And then we will try and find lava. Because we're getting way too distracted. But I do need more coal. Uh, especially because I know some of the early machines for power and that require uh, a lot of coal to run. Things like steam engines require coal. Uh, so we'll probably start building those. And uh, let's just check up here. Looks like that's a dead end. I know I said we'll ignore it, but I couldn't ignore just one piece of iron. What is that? that we'll just leave that for now. Okay, let's go and find lava. Uh, it seems like I'm heading away from lava. I want to be heading back this way because there is a big pocket over here we should try to get to. Uh, we'll go down into the back down into the mine shaft, I think. There we go. Okay. And it should be down there. Just checking nothing's coming my way. It should be down here, hopefully. Uh, we'll grab some of the cinnabar. I don't know if, what it's used for or how useful it'll be. Now, copper I might keep grabbing because... Uh, copper is going to be one of the main ingredients for a lot of these early machines. Oh, and ferrous. Ooh, nice. Okay, who's down here? On guard. Uh, what's down that way? Is that the lava? No, that's not the lava. We're going for the lava. And I think we got a health boost. And here's more of that shimmerite stuff from uh, Ars Magica. So we'll, we'll definitely grab this. All right, let's get up here now. Let's get up here. Cool. And lava, lava, lava. I can hear it. I don't see it, but I can hear it. Oh, hello. Right there. We found lava right away. Boom. We have two buckets of lava. Wonderful. Okay, that's it. Uh, we'll go back now. There are so many ores down here, but we'll go back now. I'll definitely have to come back down and try... Hello? Oh, I don't have enough room for this stuff. Uh, get out of here, basalt. Get out of here, limestone. There's too many different types of... Uh... Oh, there's more copper down here I didn't even notice. Uh, there's too many different types of, like, cobblestone stuff in this. So I keep picking it up. Okay. And um, we didn't get the cinnabar either because for that exact reason. Uh, we didn't end up needing this wood, so I may as well chuck that out. Uh, let's get going. Let's get back to the surface. Hopefully it's daytime soon and there's nothing too nasty out there and we can get back to our house nice and quickly. It looks like it might be... Yep, it's daytime. And look, more essence berries have grown. Is there anything else I can throw out? Uh, dirt. And give me those essence berries. So I definitely might see how those work. I don't want to destroy it. Um, but if I can pick it up and take it back to our house with us, I'll definitely do that. Because having a little bush growing XP, it's not not wrong at all, is it? It's a, a nice little bonus to have. Okay, let's head back. Alright, so we are back. And let's begin by just like dumping a whole bunch of this stuff in here. Um, yeah, whatever, whatever. <laughs> we're gonna get rid of all of this crap that we're holding, except the sand, uh, the clay, the lava, and we'll grab that gravel out, we'll grab that sand out, we'll grab that clay out. Uh, let's just sort that for a second. Uh, we can put the amber back in there. <sighs> okay, now let's put the raw horse meat. Okay, wonderful. Let's put that in. I don't even know where I'm holding food at the moment. Everything's just kind of a mess. Uh, at the moment, but we'll have to get that sorted out eventually. There we go. Okay, we have everything we need. We have our lava, we have our uh, clay, we have our gravel, we have our sand. Now we need to make grout. But before we do that, we need to turn this into blocks. So, oh, we almost got two stacks of the stuff, which is pretty darn good. One off, one off two stacks. Uh, that's, that sucks. Uh, let's see how we make this again. So one in the corner, and then sand and gravel like that. So... Uh, one in the corner, sand, like that was it, and then I think gravel, like that. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's just make a whole bunch of this stuff uh, as much as we can. Wow, we, we got a lot here. We got a lot to work with, that is good. Uh, we'll get that up there, boom. And down there, boom. <laughs> yeah, I don't think, uh, I think that's all we can make, but I don't think it's going to be a problem, because we do have a lot. We got a lot of grout. Uh, we got clay. Uh, sort that out again. Boom. Okay, there we go. Now, we need to cook this. So, where did that coal go? Let's use the coal that we got. Uh, we'll put half of that in there. We'll put a stack in there. 
and we will put a stack in there. Um, let's make another furnace. We're going to need to because we have so much of this stuff to use. So we'll make uh, we'll make two more furnaces, I think. Yep, there we go. Uh, let's sort that out. Oh no, we only needed to make one. God dang it! I should have paid attention. Uh, should have stacked them back like that before. So we'll put that one up there. Uh, you can go in there for now. It's all right. I don't mind having a spare one. Uh, we'll get like ten of those, or eight, nine, ten. Yeah, there we go, ten. That'll do. Put that in there. Put ah, oh, god dang it. Put that in there. Put. I don't know why it doesn't. It doesn't shift click in for some reason. And there we go. That is cooking up. Now the only question I have is how to make the Tinker's Construct book. Um, let's just go like this for a second. Tinker's, Tinker Stinker. Um, because I know the book like tells you how you're meant to lay this out. Uh, I do know that you need a seared tank. And that is just glass surrounded by seared brick. And I think you need a controller. I think. And a controller is just that. And then we need the bricks as well. Um, so we're going to wait for that to cook up. And then we can start making it. Which will be awesome. Uh, we'll need to cook this glass up as well. So I might uh, just quickly pop that out and pop some glass in. And let's make... Um, let's just make the seared controller really quickly. And there we go, we got a seared controller. Oh, we got the Mighty Smeltery book, yay! There we go, oh, achievement, learn tinkering. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, there we go, there's the layout. So I don't need corner pieces. Um, that cuts a bit of work down, which is nice. Uh, we need the smeltery controller, which we just made. We need a seared tank, and we need seared bricks, and then we need faucets and casting tables and stuff to get all of it out. So now what we'll do is we'll make the seared tank, uh, which was a piece of glass in the middle, uh, get back here glass, uh, we'll grab the rest of these out, piece of glass in the middle, and that around there, boom, yes, we, we're getting there guys, we're getting there, now what else did we need, the other thing is we need a bunch of bricks, but we also need some drains, now I'm thinking to start with we should make four drains, uh, or maybe not, depends how much we can make really, Depends how much we can make. Uh, let's see, where are the drains? Uh, they're the drains, so how do we make these? Oh, that's easy. We'll make four of those drains, hopefully. Hopefully we can, there we go. Yep, let's make four of these, and they can go in like each corner. Uh, so there, we'll make two for now. Oh no, we can make all four right now. Fantastic. Oh no, we can't. We need a little bit more. Get that, get that, and put that in there. And then, boom, now we can. Nope, I don't want that. Uh, we will need one of those, though, actually. So we've got, we got a few things to make. Now, let's start making the bricks as well once some more of this is cooked up. Because that's what we're really going to need to make the edge of it. And they're just like that. Okay. Well, things are looking good, guys. Things are looking good. Um, just got to get all this stuff actually cooked so that we can use it. There we go. Do that. And get some more. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to throw you down. And what we might do is we might go out here quickly and start laying it down while the rest of that is cooking. Now, the reason this is too high is I'm thinking we're going to raise this one off the ground so it's a little bit raised. So that'll actually be the floor level and that will be the missing corner level. So we don't need the corners. So we'll knock those out to start with. Why am I doing that? I've got a shovel. Uh, we'll knock the corners out since we don't need those apparently. There we go. There we go. Now the floor needs to be made out of the actual bricks, I believe. So that way uh, we need to knock the floor out and that would be one, two, and we don't have any more. Okay. And this will be the front. So if that's the floor, then what we want to do is we'll put our uh, controller, which is where you place your oars. We'll put that there and we'll put our tank over here. So the tank will go there, and that's where we put our lava. Oh, good. It's all coming together. Slowly but surely, we are getting there. We're just going to kind of wait for this grout to cook up, which I uh, may just wait for it to cook up and then cut back to you guys when we are ready to finish building it. Oh, shit. We're level 25 already. Uh, we need an enchanting table, but we need diamonds, of course, to be able to make an enchanting table first. We'll put that back in there. And uh, I guess I will start making bricks and wait for the rest of it to cook. 
All right, so it's almost all finished cooking. I've been getting everything in order, so we should almost have everything. We have 28 seared bricks. I made two casting basins so we can make blocks of stuff. I got two casting tables so that we can uh, make the tool parts as well as ingots. I've got the four drainers required for that. I have the seared window so we can kind of see in the top, and they're our building materials. Now, these are almost finished. That one's finished. That one's finished. We're so close. We are so close to getting this up and running, which is great. Uh, 30 blocks. That should be enough, I'm hoping. That should be enough. And we just got to wait uh, two more seconds and we'll be done. Fantastic. Oh, this is wonderful. Um, and we'll be able to get our forgery up and running. We've got lava. Oh, shit. I keep... If you accidentally click that, it goes in. It's really, uh, it's really funny because I keep doing it. All right, one more. There we go. And now we should be able to make these. There we go. Wonderful! We got 31. Uh, I'm hoping that is enough because I really want to get this built today. So we're going to go over here and we're going to start knocking this stuff down. Now, where's my shovel? Um, I will move that there for now. We'll just get the base foot down quickly. Ah, uh, we... oh, can I pick that back up? Can I... Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, oh, did I? Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, I th thought I'd broken it for a second there because um, <laughs> I misplaced it. I want that there. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to go around the base again uh, with our shovel and replace these blocks here like that. Uh, that one's done. One, two, three. Uh, we should have more than enough, I'm thinking. Well, I'm hoping. Uh, even if we run out, it doesn't matter if it's a little bit like short and not tall. Uh, that's not a big deal. And what we'll do is we'll do the inside first. Where's that dirt? So I'll use this to get up there. We need this in here to be seared brick as well. Don't ask me why I was using a pickaxe. It does not make sense. Okay, so that's got to be brick as well. And then we need this to be brick. And we can always make it taller for now. Uh, I just want it to be like one high. There we go. Oh, we have enough. We might just have enough. Uh, this go Oh no, we will, we will have more than enough actually because I can replace some of these blocks with the drains and stuff like that. So that should be working. There we go. So now it has appeared and we can use it. So let's put our lava in first of all. So lava in and... Uh, Lava in, and now we can see how full it is. Okay, we don't have much in there. Uh, uh, what the hell? What is this guy doing in my house? Get out of here. I didn't invite you around. Jesus. Uh, let's go and get some iron to cook, I think. Where is our iron? Oh, look at that. Iron. Uh, what we also need is some copper and an ingot and some aluminum brass or aluminum ore. Uh, either one will work because we need to make a, a aluminium brass with copper and aluminium to be able to make uh, ingot cast stuff or gold, but we don't have any gold. So that should be all fine and dandy. Now I'm wondering uh, if I place these. So we need to place the drains in now, which we need to replace these with. I hope that didn't get rid of the lava. No, it didn't. Okay, cool. So we need to put... No, that's backwards. I think that's backwards. Is that backwards? Oh, no, that might be the right way. And then we you attach a faucet. There we go. Uh, that side... This side can be the basins. And the other side can be our uh, casting tables. There we go. So we got our basins. Now we need to get our casting tables uh, up here. There we go. There we go. So set those up. We can put some on the back as well if we want. Now we get our casting tables and we place them yeah and yeah. Look at that. Oh, fabulous. Now we need to get an ingot and we put the ingot there. Okay. Now. <laughs> I just keep saying now. Uh, oh, see a brick randomly went in there. I can't remember how much it is. Was it one copper to two aluminium? Maybe? Uh, I'm not sure. Where'd our Mighty Smeltery book go? Let's just double check this. I probably just screwed it up. Uh, alloys. We need alloys. Okay. Aluminium brass. Three aluminium to one copper. Ooh, can we get in there in time? There we go. Oh, shit. I'm getting ambushed out here. Get out of here, pal. Okay. So this should turn into aluminium brass, hopefully. Hopefully, if we did everything correct. Uh, let's just pop up here and have a look. Come on, do it. Do it for me. Almost there. 
Uh, it should change colour once this cooks, I hope. I hope. I don't know if that's the right colour. Um, and then we have our casting table. So we should be able to make an ingot cast. I think. Um, this should work. Go on in. Yep, there we go. So now if we click that, we can make an ingot cast. And we should be able to also see how many ingots are actually in here. So we got seven ingots in there. We now have an ingot cast. So if we place the ingot cast in... Oh, that, that is great. Let's make another ingot cast, though. Um, there we go. We can have two ingot casts going on this side. Let me put that back in there. We've got an aluminium brass ingot. We'll take that out of there and put that back on. And we'll just pour this stuff out and see how much more we have left. Uh, three ingots. Let's put all our iron in there. And we'll get this out. Uh, get that and that. Oh, yep. Okay. We can get the rest of this out. I think that's the last lot. Because it was three ingots left, wasn't it? There we go. And look at that! Our forgery is up and running. Well, our smeltery, um, the mighty forge is up and running. And that is amazing. We can't even put any more iron in. Uh, I don't know how much you can put in. Oh, we need to make it taller to be able to put more stuff in. So we'll definitely have to do that. Uh, we also have to build the building around it as well, of course, because it's just kind of out in the middle of nature at the moment, which isn't very good. But it is up and running, and that is the main thing. We got it up and running, which is fantastic. What we'll do quickly is we're just going to wait for this uh, iron to cook so we can see it all working. Come on, iron. You're almost there, and we'll see how many ingots we got out of that. So I put 19 in. No, I put 11 in. Wait, yeah, one, two, three, no, nine, nine, I can't count. I cannot count today, and nine gives you 18. How fabulous is that? Uh, it is a little bit tedious having to do this each time. I'm sure there's a way to automate it or something, but that is great. We can now double our ore output. We can also make uh, weapons. We need to get this building built, though, and that way we can build, like, our tool forge station and things like that to build new equipment and items and uh, weaponry and tools and all of those wonderful things. But for now, I'm actually going to have to end this episode here, guys. We got the forge done, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Happy about that. If you enjoyed the video, a rating would be very much appreciated. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.